India has allowed the limited use of hydroxychloroquine as a preventive measure against coronavirus, clearly specifying the two cases and two cases only for its conditional use. Hydroxychloroquine dawa is recommended only, and I mean only, for a healthcare worker who is treating a COVID patient. That is number one, only for a healthcare worker who is treating a COVID patient, number one. Number two, it is recommended only for a person's staying and caring for a household positive patient. This protocol was recommended by the National Task Force for COVID-19, constituted by the Indian Council for Medical Research. The advisory carrying this information clearly sought to make one point in particular more than once, that the intake of this medicine should not instill in people a false sense of security. The interest in hydroxychloroquine has been high over the past one week. In a 19th March press briefing, US President Donald Trump said this about the drug. Or hydroxychloroquine. Now this is a common malaria drug. And it's shown very encouraging, very, very encouraging early results. And we're going to be able to make that drug available almost immediately. His enthusiasm for hydroxychloroquine has been hard to miss. But what is hydroxychloroquine? It was a drug developed as a treatment against malaria. It was an analog and successor of the chloroquine which played a big part in the World Health Organization's global fight against malaria in the work of the Second World War. Over time, the less toxic derivative, hydroxychloroquine, came to be used as a treatment for lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and other autoimmune diseases. The drug has been effective in treatments over decades, but it is also known to potentially carry side effects like nausea, headache, dizziness, rash and muscle weakness. The drug finds a place on the World Health Organization model list of essential medicines, which is a list of medicines that serve the priority healthcare needs of the population. Now, how did interest generate around the potential use of this drug against coronavirus? There were about two, three studies or trials that reportedly found hydroxychloroquine capable of holding its own against COVID-19. Early on, it saw deployment in the two countries that got hit before much of the rest of the world, that is China and South Korea. China took a liking to the anti-malarial drug after it was put to clinical trial in over 10 hospitals in Beijing, as well as in South China's Guangdong province and Central China's Hunan province, after which it was said to have demonstrated efficacy. Research published in the International Journal of Antimicrobial Agents also roused interest in the drug. Administered along with the antibacterial drug azithromycin, the combination apparently showed promising results as a treatment for coronavirus. However, medical health experts and officials have said that testing at such a small scale is not sufficient to hail the drug as a cure for coronavirus. In fact, the man who often stands alongside Trump in press conferences on health matters, Dr. Anthony Fossey, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, had this to say. Uh, I'm not totally sure what the, the president was referring to, but I believe he's referring to a report that used both hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin together uh, to have some uh, possibility of being in effect. Many of the things that you hear out there are, are what I had called anecdotal reports. They may be true, but they're anecdotal. The use of the drug is now, however, beginning to roll on. Jordan, for instance, became one of the first countries to use it to treat patients with COVID-19. However, its use here has been reserved for patients who are in stage two of the disease or who are suffering serious complications. New York is said to have moved to begin trials on 24th March, procuring 70,000 doses of hydroxychloroquine 
and 750,000 doses of chloroquine. Demand for the drug is said to have surged in Nigeria as well, after which, unfortunately, two cases of chloroquine poisoning have emerged. Nigeria's Center for Disease Control has had to issue a warning against self-medication, also clearly stating that the drug wasn't approved for use, which is why India has been so very particular in both its written advisory and press briefing about the precise circumstances under which hydroxychloroquine was to be used, if at all. For now, it's safe to say that the wait is on until health officials and the larger scientific community get around to a consensus based on legitimate clinical trials on the use of this or any other drug claimed to be effective against COVID-19.